Yo, what's up, YouTube? So today, I'm gonna be showing off some hidden tech. And this is actually serious. This is like some of the most broken shit in the game that no one knows about. Some of these, I'm like the only person in the entire like planet that even knows about this shit. Now, these aren't really conventional things you would use in a real game, but it's just shit that's in the game that you could use. And some of these are really hard to input, so don't expect this to be like really consistent. All right, so the first tech is called the whiplash. So my friend Streamline made this. I'll put his Twitter in the description. But like the, the best way to describe it is kind of this like weird like half second state where you just become like frameless with everything like you can move and turn around like instantaneously you could jump instantaneously it's like a weird like thing that happens it only works when you miss an attack first so you have to actually do an attack first and miss it or hit it it's way harder to do when you hit it though basically i'm gonna show it off right here oh, there we go it basically puts you in a position that's completely impossible to get to without gravity canceling so what i just showed you before i was able to do a short hop without actually doing a short hop like you can't short hop in this game but i just did a grounded nair without actually jumping then fast falling i would just i just jumped so low and turned around so fast that i was able to do it so let me explain how this works i'm not really sure completely how the science works behind it but there's a specific amount of frames in between each attack after you miss it so within the recovery frames of the attack there's a weird like set of frames where you can press the attack again and then dash after it. This puts you into that state that I was talking about where everything becomes kind of lagless. So the way that it works is that you would do a, a attack and then after you miss it, right before you're able to do the attack again, you would press it again then dash and that's what would activate it like that. And then you can also fast fall after it because like you're still kind of like lagless. So you can, you can still do attacks out of it like that. So this works on every character and every weapon in any attack. But the reason I'm using guns to show it is because gun satellite is the easiest to do it with because of how big the window is. Now let me show it off with a weapon like Lance because Lance is the second easiest to do it with. If you were to hit a Lance Delight and you input it again, you do this like weird glitch where you can do a dare again. It puts you in a spot that you can't even get into normally. So you see how I just did that? That Nair? I think Lance might be the easiest to do it with actually on hit. But you can basically get into the short hop state without actually having the well <laughs> without short hopping because you can't in this game it's impossible so it works the easiest on hit with lance downlight but you can also do it with things like sword axe hammer any weapon works it's just that each attack is a different window so you have to like kind of like learn what it is so like off a sword off a sword downlight you could do it like that see how i'm just like glitching around like this you wouldn't be able to normally move like this at all it's giving me like a little speed boost Especially off a down airs like that. Like on sword, you would never be able to do a down air like that. Now, the way this was found, it was based off of the Yumiko tech, where if you don't know, any sig that has a really big amount of recovery frames, and the reason why this is big on Yumiko is because, you know, when you have her D sig out, you can't do it again. So you can basically mash it multiple times while dashing, and it gives you a speed boost like this. See, like that? It gives you that window where you kind of become like lightless. The only thing that's different is that you're doing this with a, uh, a light attack instead of a sig. It's just that the window's way smaller to do it with. And you get way less dashes because of how small the window is. But this is probably the most unexplored tech in the game. Just because no one knows about it. The only people that really know about it is me, Streamline, and the rest of the pros that Streamline show it to. So like me, Pierre, Java, people like that. Because we were all in like a call like testing this shit out after he showed us. So there's not that many people in this entire game that even know about it at all. Alright, so this next tech I don't really have a name for, but I'm the only player in the entire game that I think does this, or that I know of. This works the best on weapons like lance and spear, just any kind of like long weapon. So the main thing to know about this is that if you hold down while jumping, so if you just are able to buffer downwards while you're um, in the air, and you press a direction, there's no like animation for switching directions. So normally it would be like this. You would see yourself turn around like this. But if you buffer downwards and turn around, it instantly just happens like this. And this is where it comes in where you can start kind of moving left and right like this. Now, on a smaller weapon, it would be hard to notice, but on a really big weapon, it looks like you're doing an attack or like glitching. So what I'll do is I'll mix that with like doing a, a weird fast fall. So if you were to press left, down, and right at the same time, you will kind of do this weird jittery movement where you're instantly changing direction while bouncing in the air. It's like really weird. and. You can mix this up while pressuring, so you could like be pressuring somebody and like just kind of do it. And this works best on opponents that don't really fight back, but they're kind of hard to open up. Kind of just like forces a reaction. It's probably the scariest way you can move when you're pressuring an opponent. But I'm pretty sure this is impossible to do in controller. I'm not really sure how you could press down, left, and right at the same time. Maybe if you're using the D-pad, but that still be very hard to pull off. 
All right, so the third tech is called dodge canceling. It basically allows you to mix up how you recover back to stage or just mix up how you move after dodging. But it basically is just when you dodge downwards and you aim up or just hold up. But I think it has to be your aim up button. It's just like you basically aim up after dodging downwards. It could be diagonal or straight down. You can't do it off of any other dodges. So if you dodge straight down and hold up, you get that little bounce. And you might notice that on some maps, I'll do this thing, like some platform map. I have this specific movement sequence with platforms where I basically dodge down and aim up and then dash back onto the platform. So I don't touch the ground. And then basically, since you're not touching the ground, you can jump back on the platform and you don't have a dodge, so it's easier to ledge cancel after it. You don't have to jump after it though. You could dodge down, aim up, and then just hit them. It's like a really good mix-up tool just off your dodge. It's, it's kind of risky to go for though, just because you won't have a dodge. So against weapons like Spear, I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time. The only time I would say it's optimal to use it almost every time is when you only have a dodge left and like you need to get back to the stage like as weirdly as possible to make sure your opponent can't hit you. Because sometimes just dodging in towards the stage isn't going to be unpredictable enough. So you might want to mix up by doing a dodge down to aim up. Alright, so the fourth and final tech, I'm going to show something off called the Moonwalk. I think Boomy showed this on a stream a couple years back. But it's basically a chase dodge that you can do backwards. So it looks like this. Now, obviously, just the regular Moonwalk seems kind of useless, right? But you can actually cancel it by turning around. And then you could do stuff out of the chase dodge. So the way that this works is that in between your chase dodge, so halfway through it, you basically turn around and press the same attack that you pressed before. So if I had to press end light, I would have to turn around and do end light again. And then I could jump up right after it. But you have to time it right in the middle of the chase dodge. So like kind of right where you would double chase dodge. Instead of double chase dodging, you would do the attack again and jump. And depending on how you time it and how late you jump, you get this like weird like glitchy animation where you kind of like turn around really fast. But I guess it could be used during some kind of combos. If you want to move around somebody really fast while you're trying to go for some kind of read. I'd say it's probably the best on a weapon like guns. That's like four advanced things you can do in the game. There's probably a couple more that I forgot about. But yeah, if you found this video useful, press the like button and put in the comments what kind of videos to make next. I've been uploading about once a week, so I'm always in need of new video ideas. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Peace.